try and get some of that stuff. Uh, those good goods. This place is heavily guarded. That's all right. We can take him. More Mercians trekking across our route. Can't kiss from here to Bolingbrook. Oops, someone died by an accidental death. Oh, got him. Nickel. That's not Tunskin, sadly. a tooth. Let's try and avenge this one dude that died down here. The body was picked clean. All valuables taken. Hmm. No effort to cover the tracks. Bandit work, no doubt. Check to see if this guy's dead. Still surprises me how many people die in this game. Like actual players. But, as I know, the uh, Assassin's Creed community aren't the best of gamers, so <laughs> they, they tend to die quite often. You have been avenged, my friend. There we go. A longbow. Okay, so I need to go over there. And uh, that stuff looks like it's going to be above me. little loot over here got some supplies oh, I think I know where to, I need to go I need to go where I killed that one dude loot toxic rune hmm. I 
There was a key over there. Ah, that's not looking so good. Fighting here about what? Someone's head rolled. A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fear so well. So we're painting a picture. That guy got shot. Looks like he probably fell over the bridge. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. Hmm. There's nothing else over there. And let me guess, I need a key. And that key is down where that guy fell. Nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. Okay, so we need to go head to that castle. It's not like there's any more treasures here, so head on out. This as non elaborately as we can. Some snakes! Viper egg! So I can't tell if, uh. I should probably get my horse. It's not too far away, but hey, a horse will expediate things. There's probably going to be wolves about. I'll talk to that guy later. There's definitely a lot of wolves around this force. Looks like it's a small little fortress, huh? Or if I can get that guy from here. Ah, balls to the walls. Uh, got him, but it wasn't a kill. This place. Kind of wish, because it expedites things. <gasps> hit 
hitbox on that was really small. <laughs> Oh no, what? Why all the sights? Oh! Oh, I guess no one else noticed that. That's good. Got that guy way over there. Well, it's an all out fight now. Oh, he's going for the Black Bastila. so easy to go in front of my <laughs> he was really not paying attention there okay, I should try and go for some of these treasures that they're all in the main area. Oh, let me guess. I need a key to open this. Oh, we have it. Very well. Why can we not enter the keep now? Is it all gold and silver up there? I don't want Killed that whole room. Okay, something happened. There we go. Just got some trousers. What the fuck? Let's 
kind of interesting. I can kind of. is well protected. God's name in a here for Hun Beor is his old prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Words taken. Grab me. Oh, yeah, he had wealth on him too. Wonder where he had. I wonder. I wonder. Ah, uh, just nickel. I, hadn't, I haven't found one tunskin yet. Oh, maybe Lincolnshire doesn't have it. Me don't know. Plenty of explosives. Ability upgrade. Focus of the Nornia. Ah, yes. Each killed enemy increases damage dealt. Ooh. So if you like really stack that, you could probably one shot like a almost a boss. to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman. I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his Hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often they sound like my dear Lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunwald. You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Hunwald deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. 
Alright. Let's look through the stuff. Letter. Dried herbs and berries crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. It's been more than a battle. He's been in a sweet A box of musty clothing and a brooch mm. with a crest. Probably the brooch. Of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebears, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I am Dane, not a cruel grief monger. Foul rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Yeah, that's nasty. I do not know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Hmm. Anything else to look at before we go? I think it's safe to say we can skedaddle. Ah, oh, there's a wall here. There's just a uh, small little trinkets in that room. I build up over time. Okay, back to Lincolnshire. Or Lincoln itself. for the uh, time in which uh, the city's not going to be hostile towards me anymore. I don't know when that's going to be. <laughs> Ooh, someone got real close to hitting me. fight going on. <laughs> I have a feeling the city is still hostile towards me, so, yep. Tiptoeing around the cities. As long as there's not a guy up there, I should be able to cross the barrier. Oh, I am 
so low to the ground right now. Eivor! What news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbjörg's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady, Hunwald. You are now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of... ...dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwal was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shiremoot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shiremoot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an alding, an assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the element's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes. Quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. Da moot. With Hunbeoth's death an open secret, Hunbeoth's oh. enemies may strike again. I should find him before it they... It doesn't look like we are in danger anymore of I being spotted. We're at 219 now. We're getting close to that 250. So the lay of form pain. Let's just kind of go down the list. Ah, we got more information on some more order members. If I can freely explore the city now without having to worry about assholes, I'll be happy. Looks like I'm the only Viking in the city.
Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Hmm. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. <laughs> I must beg forgiveness from my God. The Lord lifts up the meek. We must praise him. Alright. Let's have a feeling... There's a tree somewhere. It's probably gonna be up on a hill somewhere, probably over there. That might be the tree right there. Uh, actually, it looks like it's gonna be way further. Way further away. Ah, crap. Excuse me. A shire moot. Excuse it. What do you see? Hmm. There's some treasure over here. Oh. Apparently, this I am not. Welcomed in this area once fucking again. Hey, thanks for the follow. Stun him, then tackle him, and beat the shit out of him until he's dead. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you take care of a group of assholes. All right, there's a key somewhere. More nickel. I don't know. I have a feeling in order to... In order to really find... Hunskin, I don't think it's going to be like one of those that you find on the map map. It's going to be one of those where you have to kind of do this. And maybe see if there's like a patrol or something like that. I like this. That's opal. Hmm. I'm just trying to find Tunskin, man. Because so I think you can spot who's carrying Tunskin if there's a patrol nearby. The thing is... If I could find it, that would be awesome. I just don't know particular locations of where Tunskin is. But if I can start getting some... Oh, wait. It could be those areas. I see, like, there are people moving around. Those could be potential Tunskin carriers. But I'm kind of in the middle of a quest. Also... Oh. Uh, it looks like I already got the treasure in here. And people are freaking the fuck out. I get my horse again. The, the tree's over there, but yeah, the horse will get me there a little faster. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty different, you know. Quite different of a tree compared to everything else. That that tree kind of reminds me of the tree in Witcher Three. There's a bunch of trees in Witcher Three, but there's a specific tree. Oh, hey, dear. Hey, what's this? Hello, Eivor. Hey, you can. Yeah. Give me a second, I'm gonna loot whatever's around you. 
And then I'll talk to you. Mm, okay. I think we're good now. Hey, Vol, what a pleasant surprise. It's getting plastered. Would you drink with me? Unwald. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Be easy with your grief, Hunwald. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <clears throat> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes, and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Look how that deer's just chilling out in the background. It's like, yo, oh, I'm here. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end. <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. She has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. You know how dangerous it is to ride a horse drunk? Talk Nothing about... like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come. And enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You have never seen mountains, have you? <laughs> or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor full, why come to England at all? You cannot grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ah, very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. I understand the feeling. I think most people understand that feeling. It's like, just give me the fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone has. Oh shh. What was that? We got. It. It That's not birds, no dude. Told them today is a day of grief. Shh. Quiet. 
we have ambushers. They're not too stealthy. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Aha! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's kick their asses. You what, mate? Got a couple more assholes that need to die. Hey, yo, you're in, uh... You're in archer sight there. Got him. I don't think we tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice no survivors. You had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I am serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. What? Oh, there's still someone there. Moonwalk, are you sure this place is safe? This is my horse. Spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. What are you doing? <laughs> Just some big dang woman. Looks like she could crush your skull by just looking at you. So that's usually how it is. Like the small dude falls in love with this giant fucking specimen of a woman. <laughs> We'll see. Side quest. Oh, thank the heavens. There she is. Oh, she has a statue of Thor. I think that's Thor. I wonder how they got that there. Yep, it's a big lady. She's a killer. Hundval. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. So you're pregnant. Hmm. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. 
If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire Moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Yeah, I think that's Thor's keep statue. That one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it. Yep, that's Thor's statue. Who else has a big ass fucking hammer like that? So that one's done. And we got... Oh, hey, we can upgrade that. Hmm. Okay, let's get on my horse. Uh, that one's my horse. No, 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 no. He's about to get on his horse. Let's not take the Lord's horse. And I think once we're done with this story arc, we'll take our first break for the day, then we'll do another story arc, another break. I think that's how we're going to handle Assassin's Creed Valhalla for the foreseeable streams, but we, we keep doing that. We can get like two areas done at least a day. Well, safe to say we only have a few more. We we'll only have a few more uh, Valhalla streams. I'll probably finish it this week if we're really good. I don't know. The game isn't that good to do all of the side missions and other small little content all on stream, so I'm not, I'm not too, uh, I won't be too bummed not doing everything. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I think uh, Valhalla's had its place in the stream, and now it's about time to pass the torch to another game which we did start one yesterday so I focus on that one once we're done with Valhalla but I think we'll do another Saints Row the Third remastered stream tomorrow as long as nothing's not going on we'll find out but yeah that's my plans anyway so we'll have of course this long stream today and then we'll have an a decently length stream tomorrow with Saints Row the Third. Keep hitting that one up as hard as we can. There's uh, lots of cows and wolves. That's not good. Oh, cows and sheep. Maybe I should kill those wolves so those animals would be spared, but I don't know. Tis nature. Uh, we're going over to this guy's estate. Looks like you have a little bit of loot. Good sir. I'm gonna check out that loot. And I just stepped on the kid. Great. Great first impressions. Ah, did it again. <laughs> estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar, it's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. 
You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the Elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Sure. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. Hmm. New weapon. What type of bow is that? Is that a hunter's bow? A light bow. Hmm. Yoink. Alfgar. I drink my estate for weeks. I'm also ah. aware with it. Got a big old sword. A future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to call. <laughs> I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to leave this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended. You're gonna hunt a bear with a great sword? I don't think that's smart. The shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> Ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you, what little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriz and Hunwald say. You Danes are damned decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified, not of being raided, but of their sp Are we hunting, Algar, or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely! The bear's lair should be nearby. Guess we'll talk to this guy. Ah! My old friend Grim! How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. <laughs> uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well. And itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? Yeah. Sounds good to me. There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. You're just gonna rush in there, dude. Hmm. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. Oh, there's wolves. Wolves everywhere. And not a bear 
in sight. Hmm. So if there was supposed to be a bear, where is it? Uh, your estate's burning, dude. That smoke! My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! My god, help me with this! I will, I will. With you. A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me. My mm. people are fleeing. They must get to safety. Someone waited until you were away to set your world There's not to draw attention here. Oh, no, that's one of those dudes. <laughs> Oops. Just killed one of his, like, citizens. Burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. Hey, thank goodness it's raining, huh? What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Algar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Returned. <laughs> the Shire Moon will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. <laughs> Away! You won't trouble me any longer! Elgar, careful! The Shire Moon will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. There you see. Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! The Shire Moon will start soon. I should return to Lincoln. Oh dear lord. Well. Hope I didn't glitch that out where she keeps saying it. Two twenty-three now. Where are the stone forers? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> There's a fight going on outside the gates. Excuse me, wretches. <laughs> <laughs> 